Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new. My name is Carrie and today I'm going to share with you how I turned these jeans into these super cute shorts. So I hope you decide to subscribe and stick around, but let's go ahead and jump right into okay, this video. Okay, so what you're going to need is a pair of jeans, preferably ones that come from a thrift store um, or on clearance. So I actually got these on clearance from Bell's Outlet for $9.74. And then I have some tweezers, some scissors, a level just for a straight line. It doesn't matter what you use. You can use a ruler or a notebook. It doesn't matter as long as it has a straight line. Um, a razor knife and then some, like a cheese grater. I personally like to use this to help rough them up. Or you could just use the, tre the tweezer method. But I'll show you how I use this to kind of speed up the process. All right, so very first step is to take your ruler, notebook, whatever it is that you're using, a level, and well, first you wanna try them on and see where you want the length to go, but make sure you cut a little bit longer than you actually want because once you start distressing, they'll get shorter and shorter, and you can always take away fabric, you can't add it back unless you know how to sew, and then this will turn into a whole new project. So um, just make sure that you try them on first and take like a piece of chalk or a pen, pencil, and just mark the length where you want them to go. And then what I do is take a level and I just lay it here and I just mark a really straight line as best as possible, kind of going up at an angle a little bit because normally shorts are a little shorter on the sides. So that's how I like to do mine. So just like that. And they should be pretty even because when I was wearing them, I marked them at the exact same spot. And now what you're gonna do is cut across the pants. Now this part can be really tedious, just keep that in mind. Um, it does take a little while to um, distress the jeans, so just be patient and take your time because if you move too fast, then you'll end up having torn apart jeans that don't look that great. So this whole part takes the longest, but it is the most important. So what I do is in order to get like a really good distressing, I like to use a razor knife and First thing is I kind of go about, I would say about an inch above where the jeans are cut off and I like to just do a straight line like this. You can do small ones, you can do big ones, and you can start anywhere you want. So I actually need something, I'll use this. So this is just the extra pant leg that came off of those and I'm just gonna fold this up and put it in here just so I don't cut through to the other side. So like that. Okay, and we'll go ahead and start up here just so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. So all you do is you take your razor knife and you just cut. You try. You gotta try to do this very carefully, but you just go like that. And this razor knife is so dull. So I definitely recommend having a sharp razor knife so that way you're not having to put so much pressure and like work so hard. Um, but this is all I had, so I just had to use what I had on hand at the moment um, and at this point you could take your cheese grater and run back and forth over these little um, slits in the shorts and that will pull out a lot of the white and make it really distressed but if you want more coverage and you don't want like huge holes in your shorts I recommend going through with tweezers and pulling out the blue fabric in between the strings and that leaves the string the white strings um, all together and so they're not going to be all tore up they will actually still provide coverage so that way your legs aren't showing through.
So right here, I'm just continuing to distress and just um, run my razor knife back and forth and then take out all the blue pieces. And then sometimes I'll go in with my like cheese grater and just try to speed up that process. Um, now, they won't look that distressed until after they come out of the wash machine. It's like the wash machine just really tears them apart, which gives you that really distressed look. So don't give up just yet. Make sure you, you at least wash them before um, you decide to call it quits because that's usually whenever they start looking really good. So this is definitely the part that takes the longest, like I said. Um, this is extremely tedious, but if you want really cute distress shorts, this is definitely necessary. So just take your time. Um, do it over a couple days if you want, just so you don't get so overwhelmed. Because the first time I ever made shorts like these, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to finish these. Because <laughs> it really does take a long time. And also, when I used to cut my shorts, they used to be so uneven until I started drawing the line with chalk and using like a level or a ruler or something. So just make sure that you are doing that. That way you get a perfectly straight cut across. Y'all have no idea how many times I've cut my shorts and one side is so much longer than the other. And I'm like, oh my gosh, who? how do these girls do this? And just practice, 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 and make sure you use a very, very old not your favorite pair of jeans first and just kind of practice cutting and then move on to the jeans that you really want to work out. All right, so after distressing for quite some time, this is what you have. You can see all the mess behind me. It makes a huge mess. Just make sure you do it on an area that you can easily um, vacuum up. But they look cute so far. I'm going to keep going, though. I'm not completely happy with them. I want them to be super just distressed. Um, but I just wanted to show you that you can stop now. And if the lines are not perfect, once you distress them, you won't even notice. Like, you can see right here that there's some, like, different links and stuff. But honestly, you can't even tell. But like I said, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep distressing. And I'm also going to try to bleach wash these and see how they look. Um, but so far, I like them. So after distressing the shorts, I came outside and used an all-purpose cleaner with bleach to spray along the bottom of the shorts to kind of just try to bleach wash them and give them like a faded look. And I used the bleach, um, the all-purpose cleaner and bleach mix instead of bleach and water mix because the last time I tried to do this, my shorts turned orange. I don't know if it was just too much bleach or not enough. But this worked so much better and you can see right there I'm kind of just spritzing the shorts to give it like a speckled look so everything kind of blends together nicely. And I let this sit for about five minutes in the sun, nothing too outrageous, and I went ahead and started rinsing it off with water because I thought it was lightening up too much. So I, what I figured I would do is throw them in the wash at this point and just see how they look when they're fully dry. And if I wanted to add more bleach I could. Um, later, but I wanted to go ahead and stop just in case. So this is just a quick reminder of how they looked before, and this is them now. You can't even tell they are the same jeans. I honestly am so, so impressed with how well these turned out. This is probably the best shorts I've ever made, to be honest. I am so happy with them. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you decide to try this out, make sure you tag me, but just don't give up. If they start looking a little rough, Make sure you wash them before you give up completely. But I appreciate y'all watching so, so much, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!